Welcome back to the morning edition of Chocolate City Sports Break. I'm your host, Sonny C. Now, as we take a look at this breakdown for this Sunday's Washington football team against the Cleveland Browns matchup, Baker Mayfield is one of the type of quarterbacks that if he, if you break down your containment on him, he gets outside, he starts rolling out. Uh, he becomes backyard football mode, and if your coverage is not up to par, he will hit the wide open man and make you look foolish. So, uh, our free safety, Troy Ackby, is going to have to be exceptional in this game. He's going to have to be much better than he was against Arizona. I'm expecting him to play a lot more, a lot better. Uh, when guys with a lot of speed, they tend to rely on their speed. But when you have 4-3 speed, you shouldn't be getting beat deep. Uh, that tells me you got your eyes in the backfield. You're not paying too much attention or you, you lost awareness uh, of your zone and your area. So look for Troy Ackby to have a bounce back game. I know he got killed this week. Uh, I still have faith in the young man and just got to give his technique a little bit more sound. Dwayne Haskins. Uh, another one uh, hasn't been playing great uh, sort of kind of managing the football team so to speak he hasn't really uh, took the reins by you know just haven't took the took, took this team by the reins and just uh, you know put his stamp on the offense uh, a lot of that has to do with the play calling I thought the play calling was terrific last week I just thought that our offense line was leaky Dwayne didn't feel comfortable. His footwork, once again, uh, just needs work. He needs work on his footwork and his mechanics. Uh, so we're facing, uh, there's two quarterbacks in this game that, as far as mechanic-wise, are not the most me mechanically sound quarterbacks, and they can make a mistake. As far as Dwayne Haskins, he's got to be better. He has to trust his keys. He has to trust his progressions. Uh, I want to see more of the Dwayne Haskins that I saw in the second half of the Arizona Cardinal game. I want to see that a little bit more during the duration of the whole game. Uh, not when we're down 20 to nothing. Not when we're down 17 to nothing. I want Dwayne to take the reins of this team and be a leader that I know he can be. And trust his teammates. So, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times in the Cardinal games, I saw running backs out in the flat. He could have just did a dump off, picked up about six, seven yards, got first downs. He didn't do that. Uh, he tend to play a little bit of hero ball, trying to force things in. Balls are tending to sail uh, and, and dive on him. Uh, that's because of lack of fundamental sound footwork. So I'm trusting that Ron Rivera and Scott Turner has addressed this situation with him and develop a game plan that will suit him and uh, script some plays that he's comfortable with so we can get uh get you know get off a little bit better on offense uh we should be uh, a little better this week but i think this game is going to all come down to the running game on both sides we have to stop nick chubbs we have to stop kareem hunt uh kareem hunt is a dynamic running back uh, much like saquon barkley uh he has all the tools. Nick Chubbs is Nick Chubbs. Uh, it's north and south with him. He does have a little wiggle. And if he gets a couple yards on you, uh, you're, not, you're not chasing him down. He's got that type of speed. Um, so those two guys are, are going to be uh, heavily involved, I believe. Uh, that's my prediction for this Sunday. I think they want to establish a run game. I think they want to get people creeping in the box. Then they're going to take their shots over the top. Uh, pretty uh, straightforward approach, I think, with them. Now, defensively, they got Miles Garrett. We need to know where he's at on the field at, at, at all times, without fail. We need to know where Miles Garrett is lined up at at all times. I'm sure Coach Jack Rio will have some interesting packages. Uh, far as blip packages to confuse Baker Mayfield, but uh, you know, as far as what we're doing, as far as containing Miles Garrett on offense, <laughs> uh, you got to get him under control. You're not going to stop this guy. This guy's an animal, and, and I say that with uh, with you know with with all due respect. You know, I'm, I'm just keeping it in regards of the football field. He needs to be dealt with he needs to have someone 
looking at him, we need to key on him at all times. So, uh, it's going to be a tough football game. It's going to go late in the fourth quarter. It's going to be tense. I'm just letting you Washington football team fans know. It's going to be a nail-biter. I would have to say, and I'm going to go on a limb. I'll say Washington wins this game 24-17 on a late touchdown to Sims. Steven Sims Jr. will make the difference in this game. Um, He has been questionable. But Cam Sims is one that uh, has an opportunity here as well. So we'll see how it works out. Uh, Our defensive line is special, folks. They're going to be getting after the quarterback. They're, they should be hunting the quarterback. And our linebackers are going to have to play exceptional. As far as our safety play, we have to do better than we did against the Cardinals, obviously. Our cornerbacks, Darby has been playing exceptional. Now it's time to see Kendall Fuller. Uh, what can he do? I'm, I'm sure that he will be uh, rotating in and out. I don't know how much... Uh, uh, He's involved in the game plan this week. I don't know if he's going to come in on dime packages or not. But uh, I can't imagine him starting. Um, but possibly he's that type of player. He will. So, But what we need to do as far as uh, offensively is get our running backs the ball. J.D. McKissick. I really like this guy. Uh, he's averaging five yards a carry. Antonio Gibson. Special. Special, special player. We need to get him in the passing game. But we need to feed him the ball as well. So those are my keys to the game. I think the Washington football team come away with this 24-17. And we walk out of there with an escape victory. So uh, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a good game. It's going to be a nail-biter. So um, eat early. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the Chocolate City Sports Break. We'll see you tomorrow.